Mr. Speaker, under U.S. law, it is illegal for you or me or any American to provide any type of assistance to Al Qaeda, ISIS, or other terrorist groups. If we broke this law, we'd be thrown in jail. Yet the U.S. government's been violating this law for years, directly and indirectly supporting allies and partners of groups like Al Qaeda and ISIS, with money, weapons, intelligence, and other support in their fight to overthrow the Syrian government. We must stop arming terrorists. I'm introducing the Stop Arming Terrorists Act today to prohibit taxpayer dollars from being used to support terrorists. Proponents of the interventionist wars in Libya and in Iraq argued that these actions were justified because of humanitarian concerns. This is precisely the same argument that is being used today to justify our war to overthrow the Syrian government of Assad. But here's the reality. As a direct result of our intervention in Iraq, the overthrow of Saddam Hussein, human suffering there has increased dramatically. ISIS therefore gained a stronghold in Iraq, kidnapping, terrorizing, raping, and killing thousands and thousands of innocent people. In Libya, when the U.S. led the bombing campaign to overthrow Gaddafi, which began with a no-fly zone, the result was incredible loss of life, total chaos, with Libya resulting in a failed state and a haven now for ISIS and other terrorist organizations wars in Iraq and Libya that were propagated as necessary to relieve human suffering have in fact increased human suffering in those countries many times over. There's not one but two wars that are being waged in Syria. First is a war to defeat ISIS, Al-Qaeda and other jihadist groups. This is a war against terrorists who declared war on America and it's a war that we must win. The second is the counterproductive war to overthrow the government of Assad, an illegal war that Congress has not authorized and which must end. Working with countries like Saudi Arabia and Turkey, we are fueling a brutal civil war that's caused the deaths of over 400,000 Syrians and millions more refugees fleeing their homes. Demand an end to all interventionist regime change wars. need to let leaders in Washington know that we must stop wasting our valuable, precious, limited resources on these regime change wars and instead focus those resources on investing and rebuilding and strengthening our communities right here at home. We can't afford to do both. 